I'm Dan Warren. Today, let's talk about the root cause of all the madness going on today. This madness is beyond normal. To me, it's at a level that's supernatural. So I looked around. I, wa I wanted to address this topic. Um, I looked around for some information. And the thing that seemed to fit the best is psychopathy. Um, some of the personality traits and tendencies associated with psychopathy include emotional detachment, lack of empathy, impulsivity, chronic uncontrolled anger, low tolerance for, vo for boredom, intense craving for excitement, novelty, and reward, pathological lying, self-centeredness, and entitlement. Now, surely you can recognize that a lot of this is true today about people. And when people do have those, a basket full of those traits, they're going to have bad behaviors and they're going to be in a state of perpetual crisis. Um, so, some of those behaviors would be a disregard for rules, norms, consequences, and the law, physical aggression, willingness to manipulate, con, and exploit others for personal gain, criminal behavior, including theft, fraud, and severe acts of violence, and a history of legal problems, um, abuse of animals or children, which I wonder if that includes abortion. Multiple short-term relationships, divorces, and custody disputes, and substance abuse. Years ago, we would have never expected things to be so messed up as they are now. But God foretold of it in his word. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 3. This ye know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such, turn away. For this sort, they which creep into houses and leave, lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. We are in those last days, right? Wouldn't you say? I mean, all this is going on to such a level we never expected. But it is pervasive. It's everywhere to the point that the society is becoming dysfunctional. And all of Western civilization is. And these people mostly are not that smart, but they think with their formal education and high positions, they have all the answers. They've turned the world upside down and seem to be unable to do or say the right things. Um, Isaiah 520 says, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that sounds pretty serious, uh, a woe unto them for that, since especially to the extent the whole world is doing this. So what would be the cause of this breakdown? Here's one possible answer for you. In John chapter 11, Jesus said, if any man walks in the day, he stumbles not. 
because he sees the light of the world. But if a man walks in the night, he stumbles because there is no light in him. And that's pretty simple. People are relying on all the wrong sources of how to live. So the outcomes are predictably bad. Jesus is the light of the world. He is God who came as man. And it is only natural to follow your creator who made you and, and knows how you were made to function properly. So if you do not follow your creator, he will allow you to become deceived. Pray to God and repent of your sins. Accept his payment for your sins and do his will. That's the answer to life. That's, that's what will make things go right for you. No one ever regrets following Jesus if they truly followed him to begin with. Be sure to follow him right away. Now is the time. Time is running out. There's a strong delusion coming mentioned in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 that you will fall for if you wait too long to, to rely on Jesus. Jesus. 